Question 26, part A. Rationalise the denominator of 5 divided by the square root of 2. To rationalise the denominator, we want to remove the square root, get rid of that, make it a whole number instead of a third. To get rid of a square root, we multiply it by itself. So we can multiply the bottom of this by the square root of 2. Square root of 2 divided by the, multiplied by the square root of 2 is going to give us just 2. But just multiplying the bottom by the square root of 2 and not the top is going to change the value of this fraction. So to keep it the same, we have to multiply the top by the square root of 2 as well. 5 multiplied by the square root of 2 is going to give us 5 square root 2, which is our final answer. Part B, expand and multiply, is all dealing with thirds and brackets. So first off, expand. So we're going to treat each bracket as a separate entity. We're going to deal with the left one first. So we've got 2 plus the square root of 3 multiplied by 2 plus the square root of 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times the square root of 3 is 2 root 3. We've got 2 of those, that's 4 root 3. And then the square root of 3 times by the square root of 3 is plus 3. The second lot of brackets here, we're going to pay attention to the fact that this is a subtraction. So whatever I find here, I'm going to take it away when I simplify it. So we've got 2 minus the square root of 3 multiplied by 2 minus the square root of 3 the squared means the whole bracket is multiplied by itself 2 times 2 is 4 Mo 2 times minus root 3 is going to give us minus 2 root 3 it's 2 of those, that's minus 4 root 3 and then minus root 3 multiplied by minus root 3 is actually going to give us a positive 3 now there's probably at least one mark just for multiplying those out, but this time we have to subtract as we go. Subtract. So 4, take away 4, leaves me with nothing. Minus 4 root 3, take away 4 root 3 is going to be the same as adding, so that's going to give me 8 lots of root 3. 3 take away 3 is 3, so the final answer is 8 root 3.